everybody, welcome and welcome back to the Sonya Lene channel where you will be encouraged, entertained, and a little tickled. Now before we get into the video, you can show your love by pressing that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, it's totally free. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so y'all know I have been out, okay? Married Life Monday was absent last week and I am so sorry, but I was sick, y'all. I was not feeling good and before i get started i do want to thank a couple of people for calling and checking on me thank you mama dale for reaching out and checking on me and thank you celia celia's chronicles so much for calling and checking on me since that really touched my heart all right all right so we're gonna get into the stuff okay y'all already know we got a juicy topic so y'all got to help me figure this out all right we're gonna get into it if you want to hear what's going on on Mary Life Monday today, stay tuned. Y'all know when we dealing with marriage, it can be anything. Like there, there are so many issues, so many things that can go wrong in a marriage. But the good thing about it is the things that we go through can be worked out. Okay? So we're going to try to work this out. Okay? We're going to help our sister out. And we're going to try to work this out. Now... Mary Life Monday is not just for women, guys. You guys can definitely email me too. It's cool. We got answers. I got a whole husband. If I need to bring him in, guess what? He give good advice too. Now, disclaimer. Let me go ahead and put that out there because I be forgetting sometimes. <laughs> I am not a licensed professional. Neither am I a marriage counselor. I am just a wife with a few years of experience, okay? And I just want to share my advice with you. If you take it, you take it. If you don't, you don't. All right, guys, let's get into this email. All right, it reads, Hey, Sonya, my name is Sadie from Houston, Texas. I got a little situation, and it's stressful, girl. I've been married a little over a year, and it's been pretty good. We've had some arguments, but nothing major. My husband is sweet, but he's terrible in bed. I try to talk him through it and let him know how I want it, but he's not a listener. He touches me in places he thinks I like instead of listening to me and following my instructions I haven't had an orgasm at all I tried to have a talk with him about it but he says I just need to relax more what am I going to do leaving him is not an option because we are in love I just need us to be on the same page in this area and girl I get it and I got an answer okay okay so first of all Good congratulations on your marriage because you've only been married a little over a year. So the relationship is still new, which means we got a bigger chance than any, okay? When the relationship is still new, you really have a chance to like really make a decision whether this is really going to work or it's not going to work or whatever, but you guys have a good relationship. So sex can be worked out, okay? The thing about sex is, we we well we do have to be a listener we do have to teach each other okay so i don't know exactly how you're going to get your husband to actually listen but you're gonna have to do it okay girl i don't care not i'm we grown folk okay let me say this too before i get go any further my channel is kid friendly all week except for monday y'all put them kids to bed get them out get get them away Okay, on Monday, we talking about saving marriages here. All right, so we got to work it out. All right, now, with this situation, sex is a thing that has to be taught by every single relationship. Okay, now, I don't know where, how far you guys, you guys have come. I don't know if you made him think that he was good in bed at one point. So now you're, you know, you're trying to switch it up a little bit, but you can't do that. You have to be honest from day one, especially when you marry, because we got to spend the rest of our life together and we cannot be having bad sex. All right. So don't make him think at all that he's good when he's not. Don't fake it. Don't be, you know, don't do that. Don't be calling him daddy when he not being daddy. Don't call him that. Don't do that. Okay, let him know that it's not working because then he's got to figure out how to make it work. And if he really loves you, y'all just going to keep doing it until you get it right. And honey, 
That's not no problem. Sound like fun to me. All right. <laughs> anyway, this is not a huge issue. Okay. Now your husband does need to listen. So what you may have to do, okay, is literally show him. Don't tell him. Show him. Okay. It's your body. He's married to you. Y'all got the rest of y'all life together. He need to see every part of you anyway if he already have not. So show him where to touch you, how to touch you. And, word, and, and, and just a little advice for the guys, and you might want to show this to your husband. I don't know if you sent this anonymously and you don't want him to know you sent it, but he might need to see this, okay? Every relationship is different. Just because you might have been putting it down on your ex don't mean you putting it down with me. Okay, every woman's body is different. Every man is different. You know, ladies, some of the tricks that you did with your ex, you can't do them same tricks with your husband. Because he may not like that. So we have to be attentive in trying to figure out what our partner likes. When it comes to sex in marriage, you have to aim to please and not be pleased. Because I'm going to tell you something, when you pleasing then it's going to come back to you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. And be honest. Be honest. Every sexual partner is different. Don't get so full of yourself because you was putting it down in your last relationship. Because just because you put it down in your last relationship don't mean you putting it down in this one because it may be a totally different situation. And I can almost bet my whole savings account, honey, that... This is the issue. He think he putting it down and you just not applying yourself. Now, <laughs> you haven't had an orgasm at all. That needs to change. Okay, because that sets up frustration. Okay, and we don't need you stepping out on your husband, especially if he's a good man. Okay, so you need to let him know. And that's something that you might need to just say out loud. Like, dude, we've been married all this time. I ain't had no orgasm. Then that's going to make him think. Like, dang, you know, what am I doing wrong? Boom, there you go. The, the, the door is open. Walk in, okay? And let him know what's going on and be like, hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Take off your clothes and show him where is where, where it's uncomfortable. Show him what he's doing and, and, and what you're not feeling. And then show him what's good, what, what he needs to be doing. And I guarantee you, if your husband really loves you and he really wants to please you and he really wants to spend the rest of his life with you, it, he really want to spend the rest of his life pleasing you and making love to you, that will change. He's going to do what he needs to do to make sure he's taking care of you. And guess what? Just because you watch porn don't mean you good either. Okay? Porn is a, uh, a way to explore sex, but it's definitely not a way to... Uh, it's not a guide. It's not... Now, I believe it is educational, but it's not a guide to your your significant other's body, okay? Because even those people are different. And they don't, they're not trying to please each other. They're trying to get a check. So I wouldn't really take porn as the, the personal guide to my significant other's body. I wouldn't do that, okay? Um, now you may want to learn a few tricks, honey. Now that <laughs> it'll help you out with a few tricks, but it de it's definitely not going to show you how to please your husband or your wife. Okay. Remember that. Now, some things we do to explore sex, some things we do to get inspiration or, you know, to learn new tricks and stuff like that. And that is all fine and dandy. Okay. But you still have to put in the work one-on-one -on -one to learn who you sleeping with, who you're making love to, okay? Because that person is the most important person. That person needs to feel good. That person needs you to take to, to bring your A game for them so they can bring their A game for you, okay? So I don't want you to get sexually frustrated with your husband saying that he, you know, knowing that he's not good in bed, you, you don't get sexually frustrated to where you just do it and you're not putting nothing into it either, okay? Because I'm sure he can sense that. I'm sure he can feel that, okay? So if you want to make it better, then 
communication is the key. Communication is always the key in marriage, y'all. Communication is in every situation when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your kids, when it comes to the love making, when it comes to the bills, when it comes to family outside of your home, it's always good to communicate with the person you lay down with every single night. Now, guys, that is all I have. I am not going into this anymore. Listen, come on, nays and drop down in the comments and help our sister out. I forgot. Help, help Sadie out, okay? Help her out. If you know any other tips or, in, you know, if you have any advice of how she can approach her husband with this, because a lot of times men will get offended, okay? They don't know how to, you know, especially when when they feel like they they're doing good. They don't count they don't know how to take it if you just don't know how to finesse the conversation, okay? So if y'all got some advice for Sadie, let her know in the comments what you feel like she can do to approach her husband in this situation because we want them to have sex and we want them to have some babies because they are a newly married couple, okay? So it's time to stop pop, start popping out them children, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for stopping by to watch this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't ever, ever miss a video. Don't forget, guys, Sherry is caring, so share this video with everybody. And until next time, you say a prayer for me, I'll say one for you. Bye-bye now. Monday.